Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to discuss about another very interesting topic in retail economics that is basically the law of diminishing marginal utility. Now this law states that if every other factor remains same as the consumption increases, the satisfaction derived uh, from a particular product by the consumer decreases as the consumption pattern increases, right? So as the customer consumes a particular product more and more, the level of satisfaction keeps on decreasing. Let's take a very simple example, a, a slice of pizza, right? So you're very hungry, right? So the you uh, order five slices of pizza because you think, oh my God, I'm really hungry. I'll eat all of them, right? Now the first slice of pizza that you consume is the most tastiest of all is giving you the maximum satisfaction and it's amazing right you love it the second one the second one is basically your stomach is half full you eat one uh, the second one more but the satisfaction from the second slice of pizza is not as much as the first one now you eat the third slice now your stomach is almost 75 percent full right but you still eat the third slice of pizza because still you're a little bit hungry but the level of satisfaction from eating that third slice of pizza is not as one and two so you see your level of satisfaction is in decreasing 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 and you're also consuming that product uh, in particular intervals of time right uh, there's not much gap between that right now somehow you have finished the third slice also now the by uh, the third slice is finished you have fourth and fifth slice you have no more space in your stomach to eat that and the value of those fourth and fifth slice is basically next to nil and that is why uh, your utility or satisfaction from those fourth and fifth uh, slice of pizza is really 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 less than what is it was for the first one right now this is very important in retail people know brands know that the first product that you buy right it holds the most value uh, in your mind right and subsequent product you may or may not buy that is also a question but if you buy that won't have that much value that is why the pricing of the products is usually changed right you buy one that is of the highest price if you buy two you have a bundle pricing you know 10% off 20% off buy three get 30% off right because they know that you need one but it's not a necessary that you will need a second or third one immediately and that's why the value of second and third product same product we're talking about the same product here right is very less than the first one right now there are rules that apply to this particular uh, formula this particular law now what those rules state now those those rules state that the product that we're talking about is exactly the same there's no change in that product your consumption pattern is also the same right so it's not like uh, you're using that particular product now and then you're using it after two months no your consumption pattern is frequent that's how you know that you know the value of the second and the third product is not as much as the first one right and next it is quantifiable right the product is not too big or not too small right so uh, these are various factors uh, that are really important in this particular law another factor uh, let's say you uh, want to buy a vacuum cleaner right you just need one right so what will you do you'll buy one let's say say after 10 days please buy another vacuum cleaner you don't need it right what will i do i'll say i'll give you 50 percent discount you still don't need it right but the first one that you buy bought that has the value for you right because that's going to clean your house second one is going to do nothing for you right that's how it is right so the more and more you consume the same exact product the value or the satisfaction derived from that a second third fourth product decrease right that's how it works burgers so if i give you 10 burgers to eat you'll eat one very happily you'll eat second happily maybe third also but after that each burger that you eat you're gonna hate it if not hate it it's not gonna be you know as tasty as the first or the second one right so that's how it works right so marginal utility basically means marginal utility as a definition basically means the incremental value of satisfaction that a consumer uh, uh, perceives or you know uh, feels right so diminishing marginal utility means decrease in that level of satisfaction right 
that's why pricing is very important bundle pricing happens because they know you will not have the same uh, utility derived from the second and the third product let's say you want to buy a backpack right you want to travel you want to buy a backpack i say hey buy this backpack for hundred dollars if you buy two you get five percent discount if you buy three backpacks i'll give you 20 percent discount you don't need three backpacks right but even if you, and most people won't buy it also right that's what retailers know they do they know that the value of the second and the third one is not as much as the first one in your mind right now what happens now what how does consumer remain relevant in this situation that's where your options come in different brands come into mind consumers shift from one brand to another one product to another just to keep the first one relevant i like maggi what if i give you um three times uh, a day maggi to eat every meal you will have for the next 10 days will be maggi you'll hate it at the end of the day you'll be like get the hell out of my sight right i don't want maggi i hate it so what you'll do you eat maggi once or twice right a week or a month maybe but you have other things also right you eat pizzas you eat burgers you eat homemade food you eat rice you eat everything so you have variety why because after eating th those variety of options when you come back to maggi again you'll still love it you'll still love that taste same taste everything right so this is how it works so consumers jump from one product to another third fourth fifth just to keep all the things that they love relevant to them right because they don't want to consume every one of that product at same time into their mouth or into their life they don't want to use it right you don't buy five iphones right that one iphone that you buy has great value the moment you i give you five iphones second third fourth fifth iphone will not have because it has the same experience it has the same cameras it has the same utility so they don't matter to you that's how it keeps on diminishing again i'm telling you this concept means only relevance when that if we're talking about one particular product and the next product that you consume is also the same banana versus banana apple versus apple nothing changes only in that scenario we are not comparing two different products i'm not comparing a one flavor to another no exact flavor that's how it uh, this law basically matters right so i hope it was very easy to understand very easy concept nothing difficult right please like subscribe and share and yeah take care of yourself bye